Okay, we're going to run through a few of the start-up procedures on the Sherpa 940RC remote control machine. So, when you first want to start the machine, we'll, we'll start it off in manual. So you put the lever here into the manual position. You clip the remote control into its cradle. Usually we take this strap off because it's just a nuisance. Flip that one over there. Okay, so to start the machine you need to turn the rocker switch here into the on position and then sit in the seat so the kick switch is activated. Turn this button and release. You'll hear the remote beeped. Now the machine has beeped and you must answer that beep by pushing the horn button here. Once you've done that, you know the communication's established and you can start the machine. You set the throttle as per normal. It's got an automatic choke, so you don't have to worry about the choke position. Just, you know, half revs. Push the start button. Stop the machine. Stop the machine, you push the remote button. There's no key on this machine to start it any other way. It has to be stopped and started via the remote. To run the machine in automatic mode, unclip the remote control. Put the remote control lever into RC. That disengages some of the safeties on the machine so that it will operate without you in the seat. It also opens up this flap here, lifts this piece up by cable which then allows the motor drive to shift the sh shaft just as if there's a person sitting on here although being done electrically. So again once you've put it into that position here turn on the rocker switch to the go position release the button wait for the unit to communicate. Yes. Talk to it with the horn, establish your communication, start the machine. Remote control operation is very simple, forward, reverse, sideways, that's it. Most importantly this button here controls your ground speed because your revs will be set when you're mowing at 3000 rpm and at that speed it can be very jerky I'll show you with the ground speed set in full the machine is very fast that could get you into trouble on the side of a hill so you can dial this back and now without having to control how far you push this lever you can control the ground speed. Sometimes you might need to spin the wheels on a slope so you can be able to increase it right there. Best to keep the machine around 4 kilometers an hour when mowing with the remote control so you've got more control. To engage the blades, in, in both remote and manual mode, the blades are engaged the same way, via the remote control. So you select your height that you want to mow at. In unknown ground, always stay at five. If you're mowing somewhere that you know, like here, you can set that height to wherever you want it to be using this lever. Engage the blades. After two minutes of no movement, the blades will automatically disengage and you'll have to reset this switch. But any movement, including just a small movement of the steering wheel, will reset that two minute time period. Disengage the blades. 
if you want to bring the deck back to the original position just like so or you can hit this button if you're finished mowing and automatically take the deck back to its finished position if you push that button with the blade still engaged it will automatic automatically disengage the blades but next time you go to mow you'll be wondering why you can't get the blades to go all you need to do is cycle that switch this button is for changing the frequency we won't do that it's in the manual you won't need to do that generally this button here engages the diff lock and that's done by a, by a cable, nothing fancy, it simply pulls a solenoid. So if you look here, disengaging, just as if, it, as if there's somebody on the machine. This button changes the remote control from left to right or right to left depending some people like to use it when they turn the machine and come back towards themselves it's best to leave it where it is and learn how to operate the machine without changing the direction otherwise it gets confusing this button will change the drift of the machine from left to right so if the machine is tracking a little bit one way or the other you can change it on this button here. It doesn't have much effect, but that's what it's capable of for fine tuning. If you make the mistake of uh, trying to sit in the machine when it's in remote, it'll go onto a fault. Machine shut down and it comes up with a code A1. The manual has all the codes, but that'll be one that will trip you up because you'll wonder what you've done wrong. Every time you get a fault code, reset the button by both turning off the rocker and pushing that, and it clears the memory. Back into there. Turn on the rocker switch. Turn on the remote, wait for your communication, A1. It came up with A1 because I was still in RC. Even though we want to use it in RC, it knows, one, that the remote control is in the cradle, and it knows that the lever back here is in remote control. So therefore you would reset it yet again. Take the remote from the cradle. Always turn off your rocker switch. If you don't, it'll be beeping and you'll say why it's beeping. Just short, slow beeps. Always turn off your rocker switch. The remote control itself takes two AA batteries in here. It's not rechargeable. Just keep two batteries with you because if it gets low battery, it shuts down in the middle of the paddock and you can't do anything. And it'll say L-O-B-A-T on here which you just have to replace those batteries so it always pays to have a couple of spare batteries the machine will also fault the other way if you've got it in manual control you can start the machine
do anything else. Nothing will happen. It only allows the engine to run for some maintenance operations. So the only way to get from there back to normal, again, stop the machine, because this button stops it whether you're in manual or remote, always. So to operate now in manual, remote in the, in the cradle, it's got a sensor, so you must have it in. Turn on the rocker switch, make sure your lever's in the manual position, turn on the remote. Communicate, 